Hey guys, welcome back to RMP Entertainment. My name is Shaikas, and today I'm going to discuss with you about the Crack House Comedy Club. Okay, guys, so as you know, this comedy club is co owned by Rizal Van Gazel. Okay, so this guy is also a comedian and he does his talk shows, you know, I think once, once a week or you know, quite frequently at his own club. So, um, recently there's this viral video about this lady who, um, you know, wear a tudong, he wear a headscarf, you know, very, very, you know. Nice and all covered and suddenly she opened her clothes into a spaghetti strap shirt with a short skirt. Wow. I mean, it's okay if you have not started with that kind of tudong headscarf, you know, with all the clothes. Suddenly you come with a, you know, sexy outfit. It's okay. But you come with a, you know, with tudong and sun and you were saying and if i'm not wrong she says that she uh comes from a religious background and she even you know uh memorized the quran and all that you know so just to tell that she's actually quite pious and she's uh, quite uh, knowledgeable in islam basically and suddenly just to show people that you know she is also you know while on the other side so she opens uh, you know tudong and everything which is very unacceptable guys this is unacceptable even for me so um, i was quite shocked to see that video i was like what 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 are you trying to you know do what is your objective actually actually i don't understand what is the girl's objective is she trying to make people laugh but because when i saw it i, I feel very weird and cringe it's like maybe just like huh <laughs> but not to like ha 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 you know you know even the audience was just like quite shocked and you know but some of them clap uh. i'm not sure who is that hopefully it's not any muslim who clap uh, because you know you will go to hell man <laughs> it's very bad so um i'm not sure about uh malaysia laws about insulting islam because i think in other countries maybe they are allowed to do that in comedy because comedy are very open i think in western countries you can even insult the president you can even insult other religions uh, you know i i think you know they are acceptable and it's not an issue it's not the law or you create an offense but in malaysia uh i think that might be so i tried to you know do a research a google search and i surprisingly found that that is actually you know a law a sharia criminal offense saying that you know if you insult or bring in contempt the religion of islam uh any person who orally or in writing or by visible representation in or in any other manner uh, insults or bring into contempt the religion of islam derides apes or ridicules the practices or ceremony relating to the religion of islam or degrades uh, or bring into contempt any law relating to the religion of Islam for the time being enforced in the federal territories shall be guilty of an offence oh that's why that's why the lady get caught and even the owner get caught guy because uh, they are guilty of an offence and shall on conviction be liable to a fine of not exceeding 3,000 ringgit ah, or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 2 years or both Ah, so guys, so there is an act in Malaysia, there is a law in Malaysia that you cannot insult Islam. So to other viewers who are not in Malaysia, who are not Malaysian, uh, yeah, so you need to know that, you know, you cannot insult Islam in Malaysia itself. So if you say Islamic is, uh, you know, something bad about Islam, you know, you can get caught by the police and, or, or get caught by the public and bring you to, you know, court. So be careful guys. Uh, Try not to insult religion. In fact, not only Islam. Try not to insult any other religion, Christianity or Buddhist, you know, and all other religions, you know. So, um, so I feel that uh, the act that the lady done is not correct because it's, or she already know that this is a Sharia criminal offences. I think she's a Malaysian. She looks very knowledgeable. I'm sure she knows. Unless she... Uh, her mind is not 
uh, stable. Uh, put it this way, gila. People call it mad. Uh, then maybe you know do the because only people who who don't have this kind of uh, stability of the mind will do something like this. How can a person do this? I think this is one of the the first few. I think one. Of, in fact, she's the first one to do something like this in public or something like that. I mean, so yeah. I feel this is a, a bad uh, offense, and sh- the girl and the owner of the club should be punished. Uh. So uh, that is my opinion, though. But guys, uh, remember that you can bring um, you can bring comedy into Islam, but you cannot bring Islam into comedy. I think that 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 should sum it all, right? All right. Again, I say you can bring comedy into Islam. Let's say when you do something, when you preach, like for example, I think the ustads or even the religious teacher when they teach uh, Islam, they will have some comedy into it, so it becomes very lively. So people will not go to sleep and you know be very sleepy, you know. So they will do some comedy into their preachers, so that it be funny and people tend to listen more. But you cannot bring. Uh, Islam into your comedy, yes. So because when you bring Islam to your comedy, it might go into the territory where you might insult Islam itself. Because Islam cannot be, you know, because because of this law, like basically, you cannot insult or bring it into contempt the religion of Islam. So better not to bring your Islam into your comedy. Okay. So this is the advice to all the comedians, like basically. I think. Yeah, especially the Malaysian comedy comedians try not to bring Islam into your comedy lah. There are other any other good topics to talk about, you know, to make people laugh. Okay, so uh, this is my opinion. So you know, I may be wrong. I may be you know. So if I'm wrong, you may just comment down below. And good luck, guys. Bye bye.